In this lecture, I'm going to speak about one word, toldot. You see here the last one in the page, toldot, generation. Tell us about the generation, the heaven and earth. And it comes after the story, I mean the story, but the known verse of Kiddush about Shabbat, the seventh day, when God created the world and finished on this day. So here is Ere Toldot, Ashamayim Baaretz. As we speak about the word Toldot, normally means generation or, or results. And it appears in few times, definitely, to do with nations. We mentioned exactly where they are found. You will not be able to show all of them, but you will be able to see if you take the Chumash with the Hebrew letters and you look properly into letters, you see amazingly that sometimes this word comes with Vav in the beginning, but not in the end. Sometimes in the end and not in the beginning. Sometimes with no Vav in at all. So we know quite well that <laughs> it is not a matter of mistake yeah, in print, but there is a reason for every letter in the Torah. And this is the greatness of the Torah. <laughs> this is why one should learn Hebrew, if you want to understand exactly what the Torah tells us, because without this, translation can be very nice, but never can translate such a phenomenon when you have letter of Ab and you don't, when you don't have the letter of Ab. So this is what I got to speak now about, why sometimes the letter, the words, the Torah comes with two Vavim, fully writing, like we see here, Taf, Vav, Lamed, Alad, Vav, Taf, and sometimes, <laughs> Without Vav in the end, right in the beginning, and something no Vav at all. So what are the cases? So definitely, <laughs> I will not show them, but uh, you can see if you will get in Hebrew letters so much, and you will see, maybe in translation together, you see where you have the verse, those are generations and so on. So this is what I'm going to speak about is you. So, let us discuss now, letter after letter, let me explain why it comes sometimes without, and sometimes with. So this is the beginning of the portion of this week. So what you have here, the alien told us, it's Chak, Vav in the beginning, no Vav, there is a Vav in the end. Yeah, so we see in English generation of Isaac, nothing to do with letters. So this is a case of our portion. So that is a generation of Isaac. Remember, comes after the story with the downfall of Ishmael. Then let us see the other, so that no Vavim at all. So this is about the generation of Ishmael, of the Arabs. What happens here? <laughs> no Vavim at all. By the way, it is once in the Old Torah and the Bible. Toldot, with no Vavim at all. With Ishmael, the father of the Arabs. What is going on? Why he lost all this Vavim? And here another case about Isu. What about him? No Vav in the beginning, but Vav in the end. You see, told us. What is going on here? Why is so Ed? Vav in the end, not in the beginning. So about all of this, I go to discuss with you now. So as you saw, the first one told us in the in the book of Genesis, yeah, as I showed you, you have the word Toldot, generation of heaven and earth fully, fully, which means all the Vavim come, two Vavim, Taf, Vav, Lamed, six letter, yeah, unbelievable. But as you saw this week when you read the portion of Toldot, <laughs> in the beginning, but not in the end. 
In fact, this is most of the cases of Toldor generation. Then you saw with Isu, in fact, also with Adam, the Vav in the end, not in the beginning. Ooh. So what is going on? So in fact, there is another time when you have Toldot with two Vav in fully writing. This is in the story, the end of the story of the scroll of Ruth, from which Messiah comes, yeah? Isaiah. Jesse, then is written about his generation of Boaz, Jesse, and so on, of that, fully writing six letters, tall dot. Amazing. Why? Because before Adam sinned, because he sinned, the word was fully. This was the two Vavim. Vav represents sanctity, truth. And then the same thing will be in the time of Messiah. It will come from Ruth, Zesi. So there also, in the end of the scroll of Ruth, you have told us with Vav. Why you have told us with no Vav, as you saw, the father of the Lord Ishmael? Because, very interesting, Kabbalist Zuria says that from the Arabs, no converts. <laughs> if there is a convert, I saw the story, yeah? So it must be there's some connection with Jewish women, yeah? So the story that one wanted to convert, and the radio of us, Kolan Shama. So he said he wants to convert, he liked very much what we said. So he said, tell me, who is your grandmother? And so on, said, yeah, she was Jewish, she was kidnapped by Arabic Sheikh. No, <laughs> said, you are Jewish, don't know. So there is a reason for his Kabbalah, but in the future he will do Shiva, as is written in Dubai today, you see. Then you have told that most of the cases in the beginning, not in the end, because the generation of the flood of all those generations before, in the beginning they had some meaning, but in the future nothing remained of them. But we have today, it's not exactly what's done in the past. But Isu, Adam, from him came whole very great converse. Oh, you know, Rabbi Akiva came from. <laughs> Edomite family, and Shmai of Talion, and many others, great ones, came from Edom, from Isu, because Isu had very high holy sparks, because this is why Isu in the end, but we see today, already they come to appreciate Israel, like Donald Trump, he's an Edomite, American, definitely, and his attitude to Israel, he realized that Jerusalem is the center, the Jews are the chosen people, and this is what is happening now. Why? This was Rabbi Kessin said that, in fact, it's written, we know that the name for the Adam is Chazir, which means to return. He returned the honor to the Jewish people, exactly what is happening now. So this is why the Vav is in the end, because in the end, end of future, We'll see the truth, the sanctity of the Jewish people will come. They will, read, will do tshuva, unfortunately, not yet, but, you know, who knows, maybe the troubles from the earth will be so strong from Iran, they just will to return. This is the purpose of Ishmael in future, right? In future tense, it's written that it's called so because he will do so many troubles to Jews. The Jews will definitely will do tshuva and then Messiah will come because the condition of Messiah is Shiva. So very, very important and interesting. And show you how this uh, president of the Yale University long time ago, you know, even the, the sign of the Yale University is uh, Urim Vetumim, you know, this uh, from the bracelet. So Smite wanted very much that every student in the university, we learn Hebrew. It is known. Look in my site about my books. You know, the books of Rabbi Gleason. I brought all the story. When even the state wanted the Hebrew to be their legal, uh, because of legal uh, language, because we were understood that in Hebrew, only in Hebrew, as you see just now, as I, I showed you already, <laughs> that what is every letter so significant. And always I tell the story how much <laughs> people can get wrong idea about Judaism if they don't know Hebrew. So 
So I mentioned many times the story that the professor in Germany wanted to show that the Torah is not right, telling that the hair does not split the hooves. Chewing the cut, but not telling the wood. So he looks and he found a small hair, which is Shafan in Hebrew, and in Brazil, I think, the forest there, and three quarters of it was all of this place. So I said, Ooh, this one will grow, we'll have full one. So he came to the rabbi and said, look, this is a small one, he will grow, and he will see that he will split the hoops, and again the Torah said, he does not split the hoops. So the rabbi said, okay, fine, please come to me when he's big, grown up. Did not come, so the rabbi came to him, what is going Where is he? Where is your hair? He's already old. He said, I'm sorry, only three quarters, and he'll carry on. So he said to him, tell me, how do you know about uh, the Torah? I said, ooh, there is a nice translation of Mendelssohn in Germany, who translates everything beautifully. So, so he said, bring me the, please, uh, you have a Chumash in Hebrew? He said, yeah, so bring me this. So look properly what the Torah says about the camel, and the pig, yeah, and about this air. So you see, in Hebrew, all the others in doesn't split, doesn't. When it comes to the hair, the shafan, lawyer freeze will not in future, telling you professors that even this as it's found, we start, but we will not finish. There are, by the way, deep ideas behind all these things, but this exactly shows you how important that you should learn Hebrew, and according to the prophecy of Zephania, in the end, all the world will speak Hebrew, because Maybe without Hebrew, you wouldn't understand it's all humus. And even you have misunderstandings. It's interesting and important lecture for this week because the word Toldot appears here in the beginning, but not in the end. In the end, you have Easter, Adam, Christianity, even. Then you have, because all of them believe in, in the Torah, right? Like Dolan Kamp is an example. Then Arabs, <laughs> nothing. So interesting and important lecture and to show you how right was the president of Yale University, I think Mr. Smite, yeah, who wanted very much that every student will learn Hebrew. So have a good Shabbos.